Hay Festival is a celebration of stories and poems and books. A place of excitement, a place of unexpected ideas. Very vibrant, it brings people of all ages together and all persuasions. And they do it usually in the mud and the rain and it's fantastic. I'm Marcus Brigstock and I'm a comedian and author. The Hay Festival brings together the best minds on pretty much any given subject you can think of. What stereo photography does is give you a reproduction of what you might be seeing. You can dive straight in to a subject that you've never thought about before and hear from a world expert. I am Tony Fidel. I'm the person who led the team that created the iPod. And here I can learn from the minds of science, literature, arts, to bring humanity to technology. And you think of the iPod, right? It was the melding of technology with music. I've been a musician all my life, you know, I've been an astronomer all my life. So there's a lot of things that I do, and depending on a different hour of the day, I'll be wearing a different hat. I would not have written my book had I not come here. You know, I'm dyslexic, and that, so I was really scared of books as a kid. It was just hanging out with authors hearing them talk about the process and, you know, how they get it done, don't get it right, get it written. And now I, you know, I make my living reading and writing effectively. I'm Michael Morpurgo. I write books. The one that people seem to like most at the moment is War Horse. This is not about writers showing off how clever it is to write stories. It's not, we all tell stories. Stories are the way that we've passed on information since the days when people sat around, you know, sat around campfires before there was writing. When you write a book, you are creating something which connects with other people. But the most gratifying bit is when you meet people who say that they've enjoyed your work and that's why festivals are fun. To me, it's kind of joyful because I'm used to moving in circles where people don't read books very much and it's kind of nice to realise that people actually do want to pick up the real thing again and, um, and enjoy a book because there's nothing quite like it, is there, really? What I like about Hey! is the audience. I love the questions. The members of the audience who come up and say things to you that you didn't expect. Um, when is your movie coming out? OK, now you're asking a really serious question. <laughs> And I'm going to have to say, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I know what I think, but I don't know what they think. And you get some really interesting remarks from the audience, and that's always fun. Why have you never both done something together? And the Q&As at the end of all the sessions here are not warm, cuddly, friendly and fuzzy. They are really challenging. Well, the most special moment is when a young person comes up to you and has read a book of yours which has been life-changing. I read books about you. Your mum may come up to me and say, look, my little boy didn't read a book until he picked up The Butterfly Lion and he just loved it. And that's changed his life because he hasn't stopped reading. Joey, come on in. Books can change lives, that's for sure. And you learn that by coming out to Hay. Hey.